This is Taylor Ogden with Q Floors Software. In this video today, we're going to talk a little bit about Measure Square, our estimation software partner, uh, and specifically how Measure Square integrates and connects with Q Floors for all of our current Q Floors users to get a better feel for what that integration would look like if you were to choose to use Measure Square. Measure Square. Uh, as a tool has proven to save and make money for our current customer base that's using it by saving from mistakes, uh, making estimators more efficient. And then it's also allowed a lot of our current customers to sell more product per job, have more waste, and between those two things, be more profitable per job as well. And so it's a great tool. Um, if you'd like to get a better feel for Measure Square, how it works, um, and some of the functions that are specific to that program. You can contact our sales team and they can help you with that or even get you a free trial of the program to, to try it. Uh, but as I mentioned today, we're going to show you how it connects to QFloors, uh, at least as the integration stands right now. So I've, I've just drawn up a kind of a standard uh, house maybe plan uh, with just a few rooms um, to give us an idea of what that's going to look like over in the QFloor system. But this is the desktop version of Measure Square, so a bigger, stronger version built for uh, maybe more commercial type work to import a blueprint, uh, or they have a multifamily version as well. Um, and so a retail job in most cases is going to be done on the iPad version or tablet version, which looks a little bit different than this, but it's the same concept. Allows you to you know, draw rooms under different formats and uh, add elevations, staircases, all sorts of things to come up with some sort of diagram like this. Okay, once you've built the diagram though, Measure Square projects can be saved to the Measure Square Cloud. And once saved to the Measure Square Cloud, they are immediately accessible in your QFloors database. Okay, so if I pull QFloors up, you know, imagine you've just drawn that diagram in Measure Square, whether it's in the home uh, or you've taken the estimation back to the office now, um, or again, it's more of a commercial project where you've got a, blue, a blueprint, you've drawn it up in the office, right? No, no matter the scenario, you have this estimation built in this Measure Square program. In QFloors now, you can come here, we'll just use a brand new proposal for our example and search our customer database. Let's say it's someone we've sold in the past and it's this guy here, Rudy Gobert. It will autofill with that customer's info in this case and we can just save. Now, after that, we can hit this estimator button and you'll notice it opens up our measure square cloud, which is what we're seeing right here. Okay, and it's gonna sort these jobs or these estimations by the date that they were last updated. Okay, so the most recent ones will be at the top to make it easy for you. Let's say we're looking for this one here, so I can just double click. It asks if you want to save the documents to Doc Manager. Okay, and this is the most important part, but I'll say yes. Gives it just a second to load. Finds the contact information for that job in Measure Square is what this is asking. If we want to replace it with what we have there, I'm just going to say no, assuming we've already typed it here like we did. And you'll notice it imports now those line items from the Measure Square estimation to QFloors. Uh, now, the most important part to this is you'll notice under the Docs tab here, if I open that up, it has saved this PDF under this folder. By the way, if you don't currently have our Document Manager tool and are considering using Measure Square, you will need it. Document Manager will be essential to the integration with, with uh, Measure Square. Because as you can see, it dropped the Measure Square files, everything that Measure Square produces on that job. So roll cut, cut list, uh, seam diagram, 3D diagram, okay? Everything that, that is produced from that program drops right into this folder now so that forever in the future, when you come back to this job for Rudy Gobert, whether they need a restretch or we need to make sure that we didn't you know, mess something up on the estimation. We don't have to go back to the Measure Square program or worse, go back to our notepad and filter through those pages, right? You can just pull up the job in QFloors, hit the Docs tab, and you've got all of those files saved right there. Okay, now in addition to that, 
it will drop the room descriptions that you gave in measure square onto these comment lines on our line items in our system. Okay, so whatever you labeled those in measure square will drop into there, as well as uh, the generic product and color names that measure square, the measure square product catalog had labeled here. Okay, and then the quantity that measure square calculated. And if you had a price assigned in the generic measure square catalog, it will push that over. In most cases, because this is just a generic product label and a generic color uh, to help us get the correct estimation or the correct numbers out of measure square, we're going to come into Qfloors and actually assign the style and color because you notice because it's not attached to the product catalog, these aren't this. It's not giving us the right costs over here in our job cost window, obviously according to the margin there, right? But the description is there, and then the quantity is there, and as I mentioned, all of the documents are saved there. Okay, so. Most of our customers will then come in here and just assign the style and color. Let's say it's Lansing that they're interested in and this carp, this uh, color here. And then it drops in the suggested price, as we all know. And we can do the same thing here. Maybe we want to do our eight pound pad. Okay, so we've got that line on. And this is like a grout line. So if you wanted to get that detailed, you could add you know, grout detail or and it's quantifying it by the right unit and everything, but you'll notice it's giving us all the correct costs at this stage. Uh, maybe I wanted to do this tile here. Boom. So we've got the, the material in, and then if you'd like to add labor, you actually can build the labor catalog in Measure Square if you'd like to, so that when you import it, it also imports the labor lines, okay? A lot of people will come into here and, and do it this way as well, though. Just add their carpet installation and maybe like our ceramic tile installation here. Okay, and we've got our proposal. We can save, obviously print this for the customer now um, as, as you have saved your template according to your needs and your desires under our Q reporter function, email it to the customer or print it here. Uh, but from this stage, we move on with the job just like we would any job in Qfloors. Um, this integration is uh, updating and, and being improved. Uh, for example, we, we actually have tested our uh, this integration just a step further with our QPro product, our browser-based product that's not quite ready for our current customer database and have Measure Square pulling from the QPro product catalog. Uh, I'll, I'll even show you an example here. You'll notice back, if I jump back to Measure Square under this QPro product description, we've got options in here where you actually can search for the SKU and it's pulling that search from the QPro product catalog. And uh, we tested it in, in QPro first, uh, working really well. And so that feature is gonna be added to the integration with the current QFloors program right away as well. So something to come. What that will mean is when you import this job to Qfloors like we did, the Lansing and Aspen are already going to be there, right? And the actual SKU from your product catalog are already going to be assigned here, which means you're already going to have the job cost. In other words, it's really going to be ready to go up upon import. Um, so uh, partnership and, and integration that's advancing all the time, uh, but that gives you a pretty good feel for where it's at now and uh, where it's headed. So Measure Square and Document Manager, a uh, really great addition to your setup right now if you're wanting to streamline the estimation and point of sale process.